Walking becomes wobbly and your body feels slow and your hands do not feel like following your instruction. These are not normal signs of aging. This may be signs of cervical spondylotic myelopathy, spinal cord compression in the neck. Cervical spondylotic myelopathy is a big word. Cervical means the neck, myelopathy means problem in the spinal cord, and spondylotic means wear and tear. So cervical spondylotic myelopathy means spinal cord compression that is caused by wear and tear that happens in the neck. There are two types of nerve in the cervical spine. In the center, we have the spinal cord and we have also branches of the spinal cord on each segment there there are branches one on each side this is called the nerve root and this is the cross section of the cervical spine so again we have the spinal cord in the center and these are the branches of the spinal cord the nerve root this nerve supplies the arms what is the function of the spinal cord? The spinal cord transmits nerve signal from the brain and to the brain. Whereas the nerve root transmits signals from the spinal cord to and from the rest of the body. We can move our body and we can feel something that we touch because the spinal cord is working properly. It is transmitting the nerve signals to and from the brain. When the spinal cord is compressed, the nerve signals cannot be transmitted properly. So there is delay in the nerve signals transmission. We cannot feel properly with the hands and the feet. So people complain of unsteady gait or problem with hand functions, such as buttoning, using chopstick or writing becomes difficult and sometimes they drop things that they hold. Basically, the patient feels clumsy. How is cervical spondylotic myelopathy treated? First, we need to diagnose. The doctor can suspect cervical spondylotic myelopathy from the patient's complaint and from physical examination. So if I suspect somebody having cervical spondylotic myelopathy, I will send the person to have an MRI scan. This is to confirm whether there is really spinal cord compression and to detect if there is any damage in the spinal cord. This is the picture of MRI scan of the cervical spine. In the center here, the black one is the spinal cord that connects the brain down to the rest of the body. The white thing from the front to the back is the spinal canal. So if you have a lot of white, that means the space is big for the spinal cord. The picture that we have on the right hand side here showing spinal cord compression. Again, this is the spinal cord. We can see here there is something pressing the spinal cord. This is the disc pressing the spinal cord at two levels, this level and this level and usually the patients complain of unsteady gait, difficulty with hand functions because of spinal cord compression. The treatment of cervical spondylotic myelopathy is only surgery to free up the spinal cord. But there are many ways to free up the spinal cord. You can discuss with your doctor to determine what is the best surgical treatment to free up the spinal cord. I hope this information is useful to all of you. If you have any questions or comments, please write it down in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and you can share this video to your friends and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.